And hopefully Paramount's happy about not taking that deal with Skydance. And uh, I won't take the cruise court. We won't talk about this. So the deal's done. Paramount, I'm taking you to cruise court. I am taking you to court right now. And the question is this, was it a smart deal turned down after six months of negotiating back and forth with Skydance, Sherry, good old Sherry Redstone, should you have just said, ah, your board approves it, but I don't? I get it, I get it, girl. You were waiting your whole life to get this freaking Paramount. You're like, I'm finally in charge of 77%, and uh, fuck this deal, it's not good enough for me. Maybe she wants to still keep it, make it work somehow. But I mean, we know that Sony backed off that $23 billion bid. That was all bullshit, it was all smoke and mirrors, if you ask me. Like, who's gonna buy Paramount now? Is Paramount gonna go to the shit? Was it's a good decision. I'm putting you in court right now, Paramount. We're gonna decide, do we defend Paramount for this? Or do we say Paramount made a bad call and they should have fucking taken the deal? That's the question, that's the question. So who's going on the stand first? Mike, give me the truth. Do you defend Paramount? Is it a good deal? Or should Paramount fucking rethink this shit because honestly, they might go to shed. Tell me the truth. <laughs> no more no more mergers, Brian. We don't need mergers. We can have more than one entertainment company. We can't we don't have to have them all smashing together until it's just Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk 69ing on the peak of Mount Everest and that's your entertainment forever. That's not what I want. Have separate companies. Stop merging. <laughs> so you think that this is you think it's going to be fine. They should stay by themselves. But they're going broke, Mike. Socks dropped tremendously when this <laughs> happened. <laughs> They, they're not going broke. That's such bullshit. They can, uh, you can, you know, you can focus your efforts in different places. You can move, you can be a lie, the slinky panther of a business. Uh, you can cut, cut some jobs, whatever. There's, there's money there. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not buying your, I'm too poor. I have to merge with another giant international business. That's not cutting it, Brian. Yeah, judge. So, judge, your Mike, your honor. Excuse hey, me, sorry, hey. <laughs> Judge Cruz. But you, Mike Mike says that he defends Paramount, and Paramount made the right choice to not take yes. the deal. Mm. Sean, what do you think, man? Do you defend Paramount? Was it a good decision at the end of the day, or 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 should they go to Cruz Court contempt and be sent away and be locked away forever? How do you feel? I want the truth, Sean. Again, the truth. I I yes. I want to go on All record. Right. And, okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> You're on the stand. <laughs> Switch the scene. Okay, just a reminder. Nothing I say here is meant to be taken as legal advice. <laughs> and I do want to say, I think Sherry Redstone took one look at this David Ellison's forehead and said, not in my house, because holy shit, that guy's got a forehead and it's a five head. Uh, um <laughs> Yeah, I'm with Mike, man. We don't need we don't need these conglomerations. We don't need these monopolies. We don't need any of this shit. All it's doing is hurting the little man, and uh, we're all gonna be living in boxes sponsored by Taco Bell slash Pizza Hut slash KFC, <laughs> uh, which I think is all just yum brands at this point. We're already fucked. Listen, uh, America's in a nosedive, um, but this guy's forehead, I can't I can't even <laughs> get past it. I'm really sorry. Um, so no, yeah, thank you. I'm not defending any corporations here. You guys can do whatever you want with your funny money, uh, but for for the love of God, please like just make the world a better place for once. That's it. That's all I gotta ask. Make it a better place. Sean defends Paramount on this decision and Sherry Redstone. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, no, seriously, that for look at his head. Look at the man's oh. head. He's he's got a he's got a he's got a face, man. He's got a face. He's got <laughs> dead eyes and a fucking it's just wow. It is wow. <laughs> I think I might have I, I want to change of my testimony, Brian. Uh, Sean says oh. we'll get to live inside of uh, Taco Bell uh, value menu boxes. I I am I'm, I'm all in now. If that's it's the combination option. Taco Bell Pizza Hut and KFC. We get the trifecta in there. The 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 spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Father. You, cha whatever. you changed Father, my son, mind. You got you got to merge, guys. Get back there, to there the table. Start to negotiate. Look at that forehead. There he Brian, is for Sean. Out there. How many fingers are AI too? Right? right? Four or five. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're AI, right? Uh, yeah, but no. 
this is this is going down. I, mean, I saw like I think it was Bruce yeah, Banner said there wasn't a Sony deal. There was a Sony deal on the table. They were negotiating with Skydance, and then Sony came with that twenty-three billion dollar deal, take like, all everything cash deal, and they turned it down apparently because I think it was bullshit. I think it was a bullshit deal. So they're probably just like you know fishing for something. So what do you do? Right. But Mark, what do you think? Do you defend Paramount? Do you think that Paramount should turn this deal down, or should they have taken it, walked away with the money, and laughed and danced and skipped into the distance? Because that's what I want to know from you, Mark. Tell me the truth. Tell me the truth. You're on the stand. <laughs> I, Your Honor, if it pleases the court, uh, I think Fair Paramount enough. made a stupid decision because they lost out on all that Madam Web fucking money. And I feel like that's like the biggest thing to buy into them. You know what I mean? Um, I do think it's good to have separate things, market competition and stuff. But I do think outside of this, everything's going to eventually fuse. I feel like this one didn't happen, but I feel like other ones probably are. So it's just gonna kind of grow back together, you know. Just it's it just it's economy and stuff like that. It's natural kind of state of businesses that don't do as well. So just fuse and like cut their losses and just you know try to keep going in a different with like more uh, properties and stuff. Um, but again, they, they lost Madam Web. What are we gonna do? And Morbius. <laughs> it is not so Morbin time anymore. No. <laughs> Uh, I, I agree with you, Mark. I think that honestly, it is gonna, they're all gonna merge eventually. Uh, they're gonna find some place to go. It's just gonna get bigger. Disney will probably buy all this shit too. Disney will be like, I'll just take it. Just give, give, give it all. Huh? I'll take it all. Oh, there it is. You there know? Is. I was waiting. For that. <laughs> Mickey's excited. He's just waiting. He's salivating right there while he's waiting to slaughter a bitch with it on his steamboat. So I, I just think that overall, <laughs> I just think overall, it's, you know, taking it back. The screen boat. I screen boat. Screen boat. Um, is it really, screen boat. That is amazing. Yeah. I fucking uh, love that. that. It's perfect. Is Mickey gonna have to slaughter a bitch on it? <laughs> Mickey's My gonna God. have to slaughter a bitch. There is another Star Trek movie coming that's been working on back and forth. David Banner. There's actually a new one coming forward that's gonna be taking pl- place before the in the Kelvin timeline before all that, where it's like a whole new cast and crew. So yeah, like a prequel to Star Trek the Kelvin. So there's 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 definitely more Star Trek coming. But this, I gotta say, Sherry, 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 baby, I know you want the money. I know you've been your whole fucking life for this shit. You're like, give it to me, give it to me now. And you're finally in charge and it feels good to have that 77% stroke. And you feel fucking powerful. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, I get it. We gotta keep, you know, you gotta keep Paramount alive. But I, I think if you don't do something soon, you're gonna lose it all. And you should have taken, like I agree with Mark, you should have taken that fucking Sony. That sweet Sony Morbin time money. That would have been great. And you could have had Transformers versus Morbius versus fucking Craven versus any kind of bullshit they have versus the bad boys and fucking anything. They'll do a fucking biggest crossover event of the lifetime versus Top Gun Maverick. But uh, I think in the, the day, I don't know who's gonna buy it. If you don't take this deal, I think Paramount's gonna go down. So I think she should have taken the deal if you ask me, but that's what I say. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it doesn't even fucking matter because Paramount will eventually figure it out. And I say this, Paramount, you're screwed. <laughs> you're screwed. <laughs> what was their sentence? <laughs> oh, no. uh, they're they're sentenced. They're sentenced to fucking, to losing Paramount. That's what's gonna happen. Oh. It's gonna go bankrupt. No, they'll, they'll, it'll find a way. They'll find a way. They'll live. They'll live somehow. Someone will buy it. Tyler Perry will buy it and make it the Perry base of operations again and take over. And Medea will be skittling around the fucking lot and making every kind of magical empire you think of. That's what's going to happen.